hello guys i hope you are doing well so guys today i just want to talk about uh, some various way on how you can invest your money you can save your money while at gulf countries i will share mine then you will share yours at the comment section so that we can help our fellow kenyans who are at gulf countries to avoid regretting after finishing their contract so we are going we are going to start guys how are you saving your money as in after umelipa pesa ako do you have a specific amount of money yenye uwe unasema kila mwezi lazima nieke hii pesa ok leave alone that ukona hiyo deal ya kusema at the end of this month nitaweka pesa fulani kwa maybe account yangu nita invest maybe kwa biashara nitafanya maybe hivi are you doing that alafu kitu ingine wase ni meona Unapata uh, unapata mtu mtu kama wewe ulikuja Gulf. Maybe unasomesha brother yako, sister yako, mama yako, yani you are the breadwinner of that family. Maybe uh, kazini yako pale anakutegemea, unaona vitu kama hizo. Na hao watu like tuseme ni mtu wako university, watu wako university ati unawalipia fees. Guys, let me tell you something. If you know you have a kid, a kids, first save for your kids, then other things will follow. But don't forget about your mother and your father. Hata kama per month utakuwa unawaekea 3000, 3000 each. But hii mambo ya kulipia at brother of fees na ni watu wako university remember they can also they can also also while at university me i know a lot of people who are hustling na bado wako university they normally pay for their school fees let me tell you something university si eti ni kama class 8 ama form 4 no you either unakuanga na ile masaa yako maybe 2 hours 3 hours alafu you are done with that day ama with the uh, lessons of that day so guys please unalipia brother ko school fees sister ko school fees wewe mwenyewe hujasoma unaangaikia huku mbona brother ko sister ko wasikuje tu pia girls wa also like for two years alafu warudi tena shule aya rafiki yako unamtumia pesa anakwambia oh, aki uoye babe jamba nitumie 2k nitumie 5k nitakurudishia my friend let me tell you say, uh, something you will utampea pesa rafiki yako but you will end up losing your money and that friend of yours okay let us be wise enough ju au watu utakaa gulf sana sana saudi arabia for two good years utarudi Kenya au watu utarudi Kenya kama hauna kitu ati ulikuwa unalipia brother ko school fees ulikuwa unasaidia rafiki yako ju alikusaidia in one way or another eh? watoto wako utaenda upate walirarukiwa maybe hawakuwa in a good terms hmm? kwanza guys what i can tell you something Watu wakitaka kukuja Gulf pia wao wafunge vigrago wakuje. Wengi wetu hapa atu kwenda hata hizo ma colleges, hizo ma institute kwa sababu ya school fees. Unaona? Alafu kitu kingine, pia pressure. Pressure ya pale Facebook isikutishe. Ati mtu ameposta amejengea wazazi wake ati yako Gulf. Ujui how much that person is he or she is honey ujue ni criteria gani ametumia kujengea mamake and guys remember we came from a different background we came from a different background mali umetoka sio mali mimi nimetoka kwa hivyo just have in mind that kitu ingine guys Wacha neni na hii mapenzi ya online. Walai hawa watu wa online ni kama wako na sijui ni kama wako na vitu zingine hata hazieleweki. Yaani these people they have called three of my best friends mpaka wakarudi tena Gulf. Yaani unapatana na mtu online anakukon. Hmm? 
ana kukon tu hivi hivi ati i love you i want you to do this kwanza kuna mwingine alidanganywa mi na uzanga magari nataka kununua hii gari alafu ni ni uze tena najua msijui kama mliona hiyo video niliweka so guys avoid as much as you can this online relationship afadhali huyo shetani wako unamjua kuliko huyu malaika mwenye umepatana na yeye online Okay. So guys, another thing but I'm sorry to say this. Pale Kenya sasa hii maisha imepanda. Alafu kuna watu wenye hawajawahi pata even 100,000 in their life. Kuna wale watu wametoka huko ushangu kabisa but I'm sorry to say this. Utapata mtu ame save moja. Imagine miaka yote mbili una save mia, una save 100 unaenda pale Kenya unapiga sherehe si lazima tupige sherehe hala vile tumefungiwa miaka mbili napiga sherehe unabaki na 50000 50000 ujafanya shopping ujanunulia watoto maanguo maybe ujanunulia mamako babako na masista zako zawadi unabaki unashtukia umebaki na 5000 so guys What I can advise you save at least ukienda Kenya bank account yako ikuwe inasoma 500 and above make sure you save save piga mahesabu like let's say kama we ni fresher useme 30000 30000 times 24 hiyo ni pesa ngapi at the end of uh, my contract nitakuwa nime save pesa ngapi Utakuwa unaona alafu kitu ingine usiweke pesa mahali pamoja unaweza maybe kwa savings account fixed account emergency account vitu kama hizo unaweza kama you are in a good position to open a circle before leaving your country do it save it but but it must uh, it must be a genuine uh, circle Ukirudi Kenya chukua nini? Chukua loan anzisha biashara pale. Alafu tena guys ukienda Kenya angalia zile biashara zina pick pick. Like try to do a comparison if it is a serial versus boutique business. Is it a restaurant a restaurant business versus a barber shop or versus cosmetic or versus Salon try to compare some various types of business. Kuna zile business uh, ni za kila siku. Like kama ni duka, kama ni cereal. Hmm? Lakini kuna zingine ziko na a lot of profit. Unapata una, unauza kiatu moja unalipa nyumba. Unauza nguo moja unalipa nyumba. But kitambo uze hiyo nguo. He utakaa hata 3 months. I'm not disappointing you but guys please save wisely save and invest kama uko na mtu wako nyumbani mwenye anaweza kukusaidia pesa kukuinvestia pesa yako do so kama kuna mtu una trust that is si unajua hawa watu sio watu wa ku trust so do so guys so i don't know how let me know what you think uh, Kenyans in Gulf countries can also save in a various ways let me know at the comment section and in case you have not subscribed to our channel guys we urge you to subscribe to our channel share and turn on the notification bell so that each time we upload a new video you will be notified tafadhali wa Kenya na wapenda sana kukaa huku miaka mbili alafu unaenda nyumbani na tatu guys it will surprise you Utaenda ushtukie pale maisha ni ngumu. Maybe ndio unaanza maisha we ndio fa, we ndio baba na mama wa watoto wako. Kitambo ununue vitu mia imeenda. Kitambo ujipange mia ingine imeenda. Utaanzisha biashara na 100 na lazima ukue na pesa zingine za kukaza hap keep. Pesa zingine za kuboost biashara. So let us miaka mbili sio sio kidogo guys. Mimi sitaki mtu aanze ku regret